going on everybody? It is Davin and I am pumped because we are talking about drop to voicings. Now, I didn't realize this, but I have been using drop to voicings for the past couple of years. I just didn't know what they were called. I somehow found my way liking a particular voicing. And then I would see online everybody talking about drop to voicing, drop to voicing, drop to voicing. However, I hadn't really seen the videos. And then one day I just started clicking on them and I realized, wait a minute, I've been using that this entire time. So I'm excited to share with you what I've been learning for the past couple of years about drop to voicings. All right. So what is a drop to voicing? Well, a drop to voicing is taking any chord. Let's say we take a C major chord here and it is taking the second note within that chord. So here that would be E and it is bringing that down an entire octave. And so that's a drop to voicing. You're dropping the second note within the chord, okay? So let's say we were to take that same chord and play it within this inversion, okay? Second inversion. If we were to take this C and bringing that, bring it down here, we have a drop to voicing again, okay? So it's important to understand that a drop to voicing is taking the second note within any chord and then dropping that down an uh, octave, all right? So that's a drop two voicing. Now, how would we use drop two voicings in music? Well, let's take one of my uh, favorite CCM songs. I love the song Good Grace, all right? And it goes like this. Uh, People come together strangers neighbors our blood is warm and then you have the pre-chorus don't let your heart be troubled hold your head up I don't fear no evil fix your eyes on this one truth God is madly in love with you alright so we're gonna look at that pre-chorus today and all the chords really are, are C, G, D, and E minor, okay? Now, what would I do to bring some creativity to that, right? Instead of just playing, don't let your heart be troubled, hold your head up, I don't fear no evil. All right, what would I do? I would add some drop two voicings, right? So I would take that C major and I would bring this E down here. So don't let your heart be. I just love that sound. It just provides some tension right there, but it, it's really cool. So don't let your heart be troubled. All right, that is a G over B there. Troubled. Hold your head up high. All right? Or head up high. But I really like that C over E sound. So I'm really changing that E minor chord to a C over E. Okay? So all I'm doing is taking the second note within these root position chords. So C major, so the second note would be E, and I'm bringing that down to an octave. All right? And then treble. Tr trouble, I'm taking the B second note and I'm bringing that down an octave. And then I'm taking the D major and I'm going to the F sharp, which is the second note, and I'm bringing that down an octave. Mm. So beautiful. All right. And I just keep doing that, right? So that's the first way we begin to look at drop two voicings is just taking the second note within the chord and then bringing it down an octave. And that's a ton for you to work on. Now, you can continue utilizing drop two voicings and we're gonna look at this in further videos. But one way I like to begin to look at drop two voicings is probably adding extensions. And so, like this. And so instead of playing just E in the bass, I would then add the nine to that C major chord, right? And so you get something like this. Uh, 
Don't let your heart be a trouble. Hold your head up high, don't fear, fear no evil. Fix your eyes. And then we keep expanding on that, right? So, like, we can come up with some inner voicing ideas. So, don't let your heart be. All right, we're gonna look at some inner voicing extensions. So don't let your. All right, I said inner voicing extensions. Actually, that was inner voicings with a harmony attached to it coming from the sixth degree of the scale. So we'll look all at all of that in weeks to come. All right, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you like content, go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, also, if you would like to learn more about the piano, go ahead and check out the link in the description below. But as always, remember this, great worship leaders are always learning. I'll see you guys next week.